Anyone that lives on the Mid-Atlantic in the United States knows where the Lehigh Tunnel is. It's iconic. It symbolizes change. Once you get through the tunnel, if you're going north, you're now into the mountain area. And if you're going south, you're going towards the beach area. And there's a mountain on top of the tunnel that's always had me questioning, I wonder what it looks like from up there. It's a pretty tall mountain for our area. So the tunnel's just an iconic location because everyone uses it as a reference point, you know, to kind of know where you're talking about. Now the tunnel's not in the best condition. In fact, there's been accidents with tiles falling off of the tunnel, poles and utilities falling off the tunnel. I think there's been some fatalities because of it. So it's not a beautiful tunnel. It's not a, you know, something you're gonna find on a magazine somewhere because of it's not, the upkeep is just not that good. But what it is, is symbolism for change. You're either going to the mountains or you're leaving the mountains. In today's case, I'm going to the mountains, specifically the mountain directly on top of the tunnel. Let's find out what that view looks like. See, it's not much of a parking lot. But we have good cell reception. So this is the trail I'm on, but you can see right over there, that's the trail that runs right beside it. So it's not much of a loop, but it's a little something different and anyway. Something, you know, a little bit of change of uh, scenery. So quick little break. Uh, like I said, this is the AT, and uh, you can tell by all the white blazes, and somebody has really blazed this trail good. Uh, I've passed uh, two, what looked like through hikers, um, younger guy, and then an older gentleman that was with him, and they had some big packs, and you know you could tell they were hiking for quite a distance. Uh, temperature is pretty warm. It's in the, I think it's low mid 80s. Humidity's high. Expecting storms this afternoon. Um, the first part of the trail is, is it's just slightly uphill. It's nothing serious at all. And, uh, you know, I'm just taking a quick break so I can film this for the most part, because for, I, I guess the first half mile was just kind of a gradual uphill. And now we're on just a flat, uh, even maybe down a little bit, uh, part of the trail. So, uh, like I said, it's not gonna be a whole lot of elevation gain today, but man, this part of the trail is beautiful. Everything in PA is, you know, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a later spring, I think in general, uh, for the mid-Atlantic East Coast in the United States. Uh, but uh, in PA, where, you know, I'm from Delaware, spring is over for the most part, and we're, we're you know, we're in the summer now, but things are still, you can still st see where they're still coming to life, and uh, I just love that. And the trail's green, it's beautiful smells good uh, there's no traffic I was hiking Mount Menzi I got a video about that uh, on my channel you can check that out 
I was hiking Mount Menzie recently and there's a interstate that runs right through the gorge there and all you can hear is traffic all the way up for the most part. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoy this type of thing, please share the video with your family, your friends, hit the like button, ask me questions down in the comments and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. That way you can catch all of my videos and hopefully I can inspire you to get outdoors, grab a camera and see what you can come up with. Let's get back on the trail. little bit of a split in the trail. We're going to go to the right because that's where the photo opportunity is according to all trails. And all trails is an app I use to kind of guide all my hiking. I can plan hikes and do custom hikes. And here's a, a shot of the exact hike for today. You can see the trail kind of splits and there's a south trail and that's what I'm going to take to get to the tunnel. I'll come back on the other side. And once I reach the tunnel, there's supposedly another photography spot on the other side. Hopefully we'll get some good views. That's why they call it Rocksylvania, I guess. A little slow going on this. Still see the blazes, so I know I'm going in the right direction. Wow. Well, I'm almost to the first uh, photography spot according to All Trails map. They have a little camera on here and it's just ahead. So I'm kind of excited to see what that's all about. The, I say half the trail has kind of been in the woods and you know, just normal trail. And half the trail has been just boulders and rocks. Now I took, like I said, I took that split that went to the right and that's the uh, scenic loop or whatever. Well, I'll take the AT back because I think it might be quicker. I'm watching the skies. There's a rainstorm that's uh, popping up just north of here, but it looks to be going from west to east and it should miss me, but uh, definitely watching the, watching the skies. All right, so we're back to where the trail meets up with the AT and it's probably gonna be a little bit smoother. We're going this way to get, so we're over top of the Allentown Tunnel. 
That's the rest of it. That's the trail we'll take back. Looks like there's someone camping up here. Yep. Nice camp spot. So this is the area right above the tunnel. Nothing special, just woods. I don't know what I was expecting. You know, I'm just curious as to what to see, but it's just no different, just a trail. But there is a photograph opportunity according to all trails just ahead here. So this is the gear I'm working with today. I've got the Canon EOS R, and I have a new 15 by 35 RF lens. It's not as heavy as the other one that I have, which I believe is the 28 to the 70. Very, very heavy. That was an F2. This one's an F2.8. And the Rode uh, Video Mic Pro. My Shimoto bag. Here is the monster lens. And that is, yeah, 2870 2.0. It's a monster. You can do some weightlifting with that thing. Two drone batteries, DJI Mavic Pro, and the controller for the DJI Mavic Pro. Well, that's it. Uh, the last, the last spot on all trails for a photograph. There's nothing there. There's quite a few campgrounds on this trail, and some of them real close to each other. So it'd be cool to come up and camp with some friends. Past uh, two hikers and one camper, and uh, it's been pretty quiet. Looks like the weather calmed down. Beautiful day to hike, guys. Get out there. Get on the trail by yourself. You know, it's a it's a whole different kind of experience. It's uh, it's just peaceful in a chaotic world. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your interest in the video. Please do me a favor. Share the video with your family, your friends, on your social media walls. It helped me grow the channel and help inspire others. I appreciate your support. Give me a like down below if you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have an awesome week, guys.